After a win on Tuesday in four of five U.S. states holding presidential nominating contests, Hillary Clinton believes she has secured the Democratic presidential nomination. She reached out to her rival supporters to try and unite a divided Democratic Party. I applaud Senator Sanders and his millions of supporters for challenging us to get unaccountable money out of our politics and giving greater emphasis to closing the gap of inequality. Despite outspending Clinton in political ads in all five states, rival Bernie Sanders couldn't overcome Clinton's wall of institutional support within the Democratic Party that he blames for his losses. We were in New York State last week. Three million people in New York State could not vote because they were independents. Well, you know what? Those folks in independents all over this country will be voting in November for the next president of the United States. Factors working against Sanders, demographics, and closed primaries. Minority voters in the nation's east have favored Clinton throughout this contest, as well independents who typically support Sanders were shut out of Tuesday's contests. Yes, sir. And despite just one win in Rhode Island, Sanders says he's not dropping out of the Democratic contest. He says every vote he received on Tuesday is an endorsement that large numbers of voters support his populist message. Sanders says his goal is to make the political establishment accountable in U.S. politics. That's why he says he'll keep on campaigning, looking ahead to future contests in May in Indiana, Oregon, and West Virginia. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Baltimore, Maryland.